This is regarding quality seven. Mm -hmm. What does a soul-based understanding that divine truth results in freedom look like in my personal life? <laughs> well, firstly, I stop wanting laws that are made by humans to govern my life. I, in fact, stop needing them. And what I mean by that is I allow myself to be governed by the law of love in all aspects. So I, I choose, purposefully choose, to no longer act out of harmony with love because I know every time I act out of harmony with love, I'm creating slavery for myself or for others. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, I'm not in harmony with this particular idea or concept that divine truth always results in freedom. When I act out of harmony with the laws of love, I am harming other people, either purposefully or in a state of ignorance. Mm -hmm. I am still harming them. And when I harm other people, I am creating hardship for them, yeah. which is a lack of freedom. So, so I start to desire to love because it's the right thing to do. Mm. I start to desire it because I want it, not because I'm forced into it yeah. by law. And, uh, and this is the freeing part of the laws of love, is that when you act in harmony with the laws of love, it's fairly automatic for you to act in harmony with almost every law mm. that God has. And every truth, if you... And every truth. Yeah. If you think of law yeah, as truth, tr yeah. every truth that God has. Yeah. And this is the beauty of acting in harmony or in such a way. It results in this magnificent freedom that is not available to you when you're acting from some other motive. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's talk through a few of the notes that you've made here. Sure. So when we have a soul-based understanding that divine truth results in freedom, we live a completely free existence, mm -hmm. free from others' opinions, addictions and desires, and we promote the freedom of others. Yes. So there's two aspects to this, isn't there? Firstly, we live free from every, everyone else's opinions and, and desires. Now, this is a very interesting fact. Because we're living in harmony with love, we, we now feel completely free from judgment, from, mm. from other people telling us what to do. We don't feel inclined to do what other people tell us what to do because we honour the fact that we're free. Yeah. We honour the fact that we have free will. We're allowed to decide and for ourselves what we do. We honour the fact that if we use that in harmony with love, it will always turn out to the best outcome. If we use it out of harmony with love, we know it's always going to be terrible. So what we do is we choose to use it in harmony with love. That's, mm -hmm. that's one of the first things we do. So the second aspect of it, though, which was? To promote the freedom of others. Yes. Mm. This aspect is interesting. What we see often happening on the planet is people promote their own freedom mm. at the expense of the freedom of others. Yeah. And this is not how God's truth, this is not a quality of God's truth. And it's also an indication that those people haven't had God's truth enter them exactly. on these issues. Exactly. Yeah. So I would not promote my own freedom just so that you can have more slavery. Yeah. Because I would honour the fact that we are equal. And if I loved you as much as I loved myself, I would actually honour your freedom as much as my own. And so therefore I would never take an action to harm your freedom. I would never attempt to enslave you in any way, either enslave you with vices, you know, such as drugs or alcohol or other vices, or enslave you physically, or enslave you sexually, or enslave you in any other, emotionally or in any other way. I would never take an action to choose those things. I would never become a pusher of a drug as a result of that. I would never become a pusher of alcohol. I would never become a pusher of emotional addictions if I honoured this fact because I would like to create your freedom, not your enslavery. Yeah. And when I saw a person gravitating towards slavery, I would want to free them. So I would try at least to have, because of my love for them, I would try at least to talk with them about that. Now, if they didn't want to hear, I would also promote that as their freedom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that they're allowed yes. to choose to not want to hear. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd promote that too. Okay, another one. I do not allow others' opinions, addictions or desires to influence me away from living in love. Yes. 
So this is where, because I know I'm free and I'm allowed to have my own choices and decisions, I stop being so invested in everyone else's opinions and desires for my life. Mm-hmm. And this is a, there's interesting flavours to this in the sense that I, I, I actually now listen less to what other people would say I should do. Mm-hmm. And I am more focused on what I feel God would like me to do or what love would dictate that I do. In other words, I'm more focused on knowing the truth of how I should act rather than other people's opinions about how I should act, which may may or may not be truth. So I'm very focused now on allowing my own sense of freedom to exist. And that's a very important factor. A lot of people don't have that in their day-to-day life because they are so confined by other people's opinions. They have investments in other people's opinions. When I'm in this state, I no longer invest in other people's opinions. I don't don't want your opinion just so that I can feel good. I'm willing to feel bad and not have your good opinion or not even have your opinion at all. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to go through my own doubts without trying to have you make my doubts go away. I'm willing to own my own emotions because I understand that's my way to freedom Mm -hmm. rather than have you try to get me to do something or rather than listen to what you think I should do, which would create slavery to you. I don't do that. I choose to not do that. I don't want a guru anymore. Mm. I want a relationship with God. (laughs) I don't want a guru anymore. I don't want a priest anymore. I want a relationship with God. I don't want somebody showing me, telling me what to do. I want somebody who's willing to talk to me and discuss with me what they feel God's opinions are. And how I can develop. And how you can develop and know those things. Yeah. I certainly would like that. Yeah. But I wouldn't automatically do what that person suggests without some experiment. Mm-hmm. And this allows me to have a set a course of self-determination in my life, which is the way God had created you to be, yeah. in fact. Yeah. To engage your personality, engage your passion, engage your desires, engage the f- fact that you've been given this gift of will, it's yours. <laughs> it's not anybody else's. <coughs> this gift of free will is yours. It's not anybody else's. So, so don't give it away. <laughs> Learn to use it yourself. That's what's going to create your own freedom. Yeah. 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 All right, next mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. I act fully on all of my own desires, harmonious with love, even when others oppose them. Exactly. So I don't have this idea that in order to love, everybody's got to agree with me. I know when things are loving and because I continue to have this connection with God while I'm in this place. I know that I'm, a, I'm allowed to make choice and decisions that are loving mm-hmm. and, and be completely harmonious with all of God's laws. And so I choose to act upon them even if everyone else disagrees with me. Yeah. And in fact, by choosing to act on them when everyone else disagrees with me, I help them go through what is true, what is not. What is love, what is not. I help them work through these issues by acting in harmony with love and truth myself. Whenever I respect the person's opinions that are out of harmony with love and truth that I've discovered, all I'm doing is harming myself, harming them, and both of us no longer have the ability to determine what is true and no longer have any freedom. So I, I'm far better at least having one of us have freedom <laughs> than having two of us enslaved by our own desires to meet each other's addictions. Yeah, great. Mm-hmm. Okay, I honour my own beliefs even when others disagree with them. Mm-hmm. So a very similar principle. Yep. Yep. I honour and experience my own emotions at all times, in all situations, without reserve. Yes. So I have the freedom to express myself emotionally without feeling confined by my environment. I know that God has given me this gift with, of freedom. Yeah. This, and God's, all of God's truth revolve around freedom. So whenever anybody tries to confine me emotionally, I know they're out of harmony with God's truth. Every time they try to stop me from feeling a certain feeling that is in harmony with love, I know they're out of harmony with God's truth. Yeah. Even when they try to stop me feeling a feeling that is out of harmony with God's love, but I'm doing it in a way that's harmonious. In other words, 
For example, if I have anger or rage mm -hmm. and I go out and bash the bag instead of hurting somebody with it, yeah. that's more in harmony with God's truth. I honour the fact that I'm allowed to do that. Yeah. And particularly if I'm in, my, you know, I'm in my own environment and nobody else has to hear it, I'm definitely allowed to do that. Yeah. As soon as I'm out of my own environment and everyone else has to hear it, now I'd, I would be out of harmony with love, forcing it upon them. Yeah. Because that, that would be out of harmony with the gift of free will, which is one of the previous ones we've discussed. But if I'm in harmony with freedom and in harmony with free will, I would choose to feel all of my emotions in my own privacy without expecting anyone else share in it and without expecting that anybody else would ever attack me for it. Mm. I would do it because I love myself yeah. and I love freedom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah. All right. Um, this is a good one for me. <laughs> I do not ever blame another person for controlling or attempting to control me. Yes. Because I'm honouring that I have free will, as we discussed in the previous point, and in this case we're honouring that guy, I have been given freedom and as long as I live in harmony with truth, it will create freedom, then I wouldn't blame somebody else for trying to push me around. Yeah. I would go, okay, they pushed me around and I allowed it. <laughs> Why did I allow it? Yes. Why did I put myself into the slavery of another person, yeah. of listening to another person? Why did I do that? There must be a reason why I chose that. And I wouldn't blame the other person for my reason. I would work through emotionally why I chose to have a life of slavery rather than freedom. And this is something really crucial that I am still learning about spirits and mm -hmm. a spirit attack. When, when um, I feel so attacked or bullied... And I just want to submit and oh, just do what they want so that I don't have to feel mm -hmm. fear. Mm -hmm. And this is very much, I feel, God teaching us about our will, isn't it? That we have this freedom. We can make a different choice can to make not a different comply choice. Yeah. and just feel. True. Choose to feel your fear, yeah. which is the reason for their attack. Yeah. Right? That allows their attack. That allows their attack. Feel your fear. Mm. Realise that even the attack itself is a method by which you can heal something within yourself. That's yeah. real freedom. Yeah, it is. Like to it's know very that, empowering. It's very empowering it? to, to, to know that somebody's attack of you, can, if you allow yourself to be humble to the emotion, you will feel attacked, you'll feel oppressed, you'll probably have a good cry about it, you'll feel some fear about it, you'll probably have a good cry about that too, and after that it will be gone. And you'll feel free. <laughs> and this is where knowing divine truth is literally a ticket to freedom because yes. there is no such thing as a problem you can't solve. Exactly. Because you're faced with something, you know what you can do, you know the laws governing it. Yes. Uh, and even if you don't know all of them, because we can't know all of God's truths, mm -hmm. we can understand some principles and we know that humility will yep. liberate us. Yes. And so... There's not actually an issue where we ever can feel stumped anymore. No, and that even applies to death. Mm -hmm. We don't even see death as a lack of freedom yeah. because the reality is it isn't. Yeah. Once we fully have absorbed divine truth, we understand there's no such thing as death of who we are. There's no such thing of death of our experience. There's no such thing of death of our ability to, to you know, utilise our emotions and feel and think and be free-thinking and free-feeling people. And so we're not even afraid of death anymore. Yeah. We have so much freedom that we're not afraid of anything anymore, Pretty including cool. death. Yeah. 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 Okay, two more. I only respond in love when others attempt to manipulate or control me. So that's sort of linked to what we were just saying. That's right. So, so when other people try to manipulate and control us, because we're not worried about having to do what they want, we just be loving with them. Yeah. So, so you've seen me do that frequently yes. when we stay with people and yeah. so forth. You feel the manipulations that we get frequently. And I can still just sit there and love them and not get angry. And, because, but not comply. Either. And not comply, yeah. but not get angry. And the reason why I don't get angry is because I don't feel like I have to comply. Yeah. I don't feel like I have to do what they're saying. Yeah. I know that I don't. Yeah, have to. You feel this freedom. I feel this, a sense of freedom. Yeah. This uh, truth. And I sort of observe their projections at me and even their rage that I'm not doing what I want. But, but to me, that's their stuff. And, and I don't feel obliged 
to be forced into doing what somebody else wants me to do because I know that God's given me the gift of free will. God's given me freedom. Mm. And all of God's truths would help me be free. Yeah. And I, I therefore know that whenever they're trying to control me, they're not helping me be free. Yeah. <laughs> they're wanting to control me. That's not freedom. That's control. And whenever somebody attempts to control me, they're not helping me to be free. And so I don't conform mm. <laughs> to the, the, their desire that I become under their control. Yeah. Okay, final one, which is very beautiful. When we have this soul-based understanding that divine truth results in freedom, we're so free that nothing in our environment interferes with our connection with God. Yes. So this is a real, once we become at one with God, this is how it is. We, we, we are so free with everything that there's literally not a single event in our, that could be perpetrated against us, not a single event that we could attract in our personal life. There's not a single thing that can happen to us, including death, that would upset our relationship with God, mm -hmm. that would upset our sense of freedom. That, and, and it's a reality of freedom, not just a sense of it. We know we're completely free in that place. And because of that, you imagine the freedom that creates. It's like it, it's, most people on earth have never even, can, cannot even imagine what that would be like, no. let alone feel what it would be like in today's circumstances. So this aspect or quality of God's truth results in freedom or truth sets you free yeah. is a very important quality to understand about divine truth. And many, it, it's quite life-changing when it does enter your soul. Once it, it enters your soul, yeah. it changes the way you interact with almost everyone around you. All of a sudden, instead of being angry about what they try to do to you, you're no longer angry about what they're trying to do to you. You're no longer upset with what they're trying to do to you because you now know you have a perfect sense of freedom and feel this perfect sense of freedom. You know you don't have to conform. Mm. You know you don't have to do what's being asked of you. You know you have freedom. Mm. And you know you can give a gift of whatever you like to people, but you know that if they're demanding it, you're probably not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, the, and you have that sense of yourself that's much stronger than the average person has of themselves as a result. So it just creates this beautiful freeing lifestyle. And it's not a freedom where it harms other people. Mm. It's a freedom that's in perfect harmony with how other people want to live their life. Yeah, mm. very beautiful. Mm. Thank you, Darwin, for this discussion. Yeah.